first the uh, the city George. Funds that Miss Peggy just mentioned, um, showing in the 
uh, fund balance accounts, the $17 million that we just received from the bond issue, some of the officials went down Tuesday and we got that transfer done, but uh, tonight you'll see an appropriation ordinance that will establish those accounts. 4800 will be the uh, liable courthouse construction fund and 4801 the Osceola uh, courthouse construction fund. Then we talked a little bit about the landfill. Um, landfill use is going up faster than we anticipated. We're already having to look forward to uh, building and constructing a, a new cell out of the landfill. So you'll see in a, a land sale, landfill cell construction uh, appropriation for $350,000. Um, also, we talked a little bit about the uh, circuit clerk's office and the additional storage they needed in the building across the street. Uh, the Energy and Property Committee, if I'm not mistaken, had met and recommended that we uh, allow this uh, <coughs> uh, lease that portion of the uh, back part of the building. You can see an appropriation in, uh, in tonight's appropriation ordinance regarding that. Then Justice uh, Nelson's committee had two or three different things that, uh, that they wanted to bring to the Finance Committee, and I think I'll just reserve those for his discussion here in just a second. Uh, Justice Jackson, would you uh, might give a comment on the Energy and Property Committee meeting of the May 1st? Yes, thank you, Judge. We did have uh, two orders of business. The first order of business was the additional storage space for the circuit clerk, Leslie Mason. Mason. All the committee members need the storage area that is behind First Commercial Bank, where Leslie's office is currently located. The committee members agreed that the space was sufficient. Um, First Commercial Bank is offering the space for the price of $325 a month. Um, <coughs> we made a motion for, to, to send a two-year lease proposal in the amount of the $325 to be paid out of the circuit clerk's 25% quarter fund. Um, the second order of business was the possible deconstruction of the tower on the northwest corner of the Blyville Courthouse lot. Um, after some discussion, Justice Ash made a motion for the judge to choose the option he feels most comfortable with while recommending the lower cost option. <laughs> um, with the caveat that uh, they had the proper licensing and insurance um, with the stipulation that Burlington Northern was notified about the new construction. Thank you. Justice Nelson, would you give the uh, comments on the planning and development? We had two meetings this month. Uh, first meeting was with a, a gentleman by the name of Dennis Crew. He was concerned about the expenditures that we were making with uh, economic development funds. He didn't think that we were spending them the way that he would like for us to, with uh, the college and some other things. Um, some other ways, Mr. Chipwood spoke about some of those expenditures, and Dr. Schimmel spoke about some of the expenditures. All in all, most of the uh, committee and some of the visitors thought that the Economic Development Committee was doing well with their uh, looking at the different projects that we funded and brought to the full court. Everyone left feeling good about the fact that Mr. Brew had told or had presented his side of the story. He felt good about it. Uh, no one got upset. There was no lashing of tongues or anything. So uh, we were all pleased that that went well. The second uh, meeting that we had was uh, asked for by Mr. Chipwood. The AJ aviation that we funded last month, the, the, the bids were all exceeded. By the way, AJ, for those who are not aware of it, is in the uh, The bid exceeded the amount that we appropriated by about forty-five thousand dollars. So Mr. Chip would ask that we add forty-five thousand to the appropriation because we had already spent part of the money. We couldn't just void that ordinance. We, we would have to amend it and increase it. And we're going to present back to the court tonight for approval. We also brought a business, um, uh, Frigitech. 
that the air conditioning is a German company. Um, primarily, they um, refrigerate grain or cool grain down with refrigeration where we just, in America, we just blow air across it, but they cool it. And so these people are already here, but they're asking for some help. And we're going to ask the court to approve $10,000 per job for 10 jobs for a total of $100,000. Mr. Chipwood also uh, brought the item back to the board about uh, the Tad So Consulting Company to do an economic and tactical study and accounting to see what type of workers we need, uh, what type of workers uh, we could use, where they're going to come from, uh, things of that sort. So he twisted our arm and uh, sweet talked us, and we're going to ask the court to approve the 96500 to conduct that study. And hopefully there will be something coming from it that uh, will help us with employees uh, for the business and industries around the county. And if anybody would like to know more about that, Mr. Chickwood is here. Uh, we're not going to, none of the county employees or elected officials are going to be responsible for uh, finding these people. The only thing we're going to do is present to the companies where they are. And it'll be up to them to find housing, uh, work out, whatever they do to get them here, transportation, that, that sort of thing. That was more than a nutshell, wasn't it? <laughs> Thank you, Justice. Uh, Justice White, would you give a comments on the finance committee meeting of the 20th? Actually, that's the one that I was discussing a while ago. <laughs> you got anything else to say? I think it was really good to present what <laughs> All right, we'll move on. Uh, we've got an appropriation ordinance. Yes, I'd like to ask the clerk to read the uh, appropriation ordinance involving several different uh, appropriations that we've mentioned already. Ordinance number 02019-13, an ordinance authorizing modifying appropriations for the operation of the Mississippi County government, including an appropriation for the construction and renovation of the county courthouses and for other purposes. Whereas certain functions and processes of the county are in need of funding, whereas the Finance Committee has approved and recommends this funding and appropriation now, therefore, be it enacted by the Quorum Court of Mississippi County, Arkansas, that one, the following appropriations modifications are hereby made for the 2019 budget. Slot or account number 4800.0108.4006 for the Blythe Courthouse Construction Fund, $15,252,847.39. Account number 4801.0108.4006 for Osceola Construction Fund in the amount of $2 million. Account number 3009.0700.4009 for Landfill Cell Construction in the amount of $350,200. 350200 Dollars, I'm sorry. <laughs> Account number 3414.0136.4006 for ANJ Aviation, which amends ordinance number 2018 22 in the amount of $45,000. Account number 3414.0157.3999 for Fridger Tech in the amount of $100,000. Account number 3414.0129.3009 for economic development for TADZO study in the amount of $96,500. Account number 3006.0102.3070 for circuit clerk storage rent in the amount of $2,275. Item 2. 
all appropriations previously authorized, approved, and made as to all other offices, departments, and agencies of county government, and all other funds not here and above changed are to remain as previously appropriated. Detailed provisions of said appropriations are reflected in the schedule of specific items listed by account numbers within the category for each office and filed in the office of the county court clerk. Item three, this ordinance being an appropriation ordinance shall be in full force and effect immediately from and after its passage and approval by the county judge. Move for adoption. Sir. Is there discussion? Judge, these, uh, each of these items have been uh, previously mentioned in tonight's discussions. Uh, the, I think the big one is the courthouse construction. I think that's kind of something for us to all be proud of. That's very exciting. Justice Ash? Yes. Justice Bird? Yes. Justice Clay? Yes. Justice Fleeman? Yes. Justice Hinton? Yes. Justice Huffler? Yes. Justice Jackson? Yes. Justice Nelson? Yes. Justice Norval? Yes. Justice White? Yes. <coughs> we have just approved 0219-13. We have uh, Second ordinance tonight. Uh, Judge, I have a question of our attorney, uh, Mr. Thomas. Yes. In, in the, the business that this pertains to, is this an appropriation ordinance or is this a, a regular ordinance that requires three readings? You, it's listed by title as an appropriation ordinance. It's, well, the money, is that the one with the money going to the house? No, this is where we're uh, authorizing the county to do business with Fleeman Auction and Reader. Yeah, it probably just needs to be changed to take appropriation. Just make a regular ordinance? And, yes. And so we can move to through the three readings if we choose by the time. Okay. So we'll make a change to the Okay. So we're marking through appropriation? Yes. So we're, we're, going to dis we're going to disregard the appropriation word there. Judge, I'd like to ask the clerk if she would to read the ordinance authorizing the county to do business with Fleeman Auctions and Realty. Ordinance number 0-2019-14. An ordinance authorizing Mississippi County to do business with Fleeman Auctions and Realty located in Manila, Arkansas. Whereas Mississippi County desires to do business with services provided by Fleeman Auctions and Realty located in Manila, Arkansas. Whereas Justice Fred Fleeman is owner of said business. And whereas Arkansas Code Annotated 14-14-12. O2 authorizes the quorum court to make, it a, make a determination that such business transactions are in the best interest of the county. Now therefore be it enacted by the quorum court of Mississippi County, Arkansas, that circumstances exist to justify Justice Fleeman's auction and realty to do business with Mississippi County, Arkansas. Make a motion to suspend the rules and read it for a second time. Second. Ordinance number 0-2000, oh, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't think about it. Well, you know, actually, I'm, uh, that's why I was going over the rules of procedure, I think we, we are correct, and actually I don't think that, uh, we don't think we have to vote at this point, but we can if that's been traditional. To, to advance to the second and third reading? No, we're, we've already uh, made the motion and had it set in to uh, advance. And the uh, way I understand it is that we can do the second reading without a vote at this point. Okay. I've got a problem with that. Uh, we can just set it by time one. Okay. Ordinance number 0 2019 14. An ordinance authorizing Mississippi County to do business with Fleeman Auctions and Realty located in Manila, Arkansas. Make a motion to suspend the rules for a third time. Second. Ordinance number 0-2019-14, an ordinance authorizing Mississippi County to do business with Fleeman Auctions and Realty located in Mississippi, uh, I'm sorry, Manila, Arkansas. Move for adoption. Is there a discussion? I just got a question. I mean, what, I, I may have never wanted to make when this was discussed. Why? What, what would we be doing with Mr. Fleming's auction service? What would it? The sheriff's department asked him to conduct a, uh, an auction, and it's going to be very small. It's going to be not very many items at all. And so uh, they asked Justice Fleming if he would lend his services. 
And so prior to that, we would have to have this ordinance before. Well, I, just, I, just, I was curious. I just that there was not that deep. But this there might be something coming from the landfill. There might be something coming in from the road department. The last option that we conducted five, six years ago, we hired an auctioneer, an outside auctioneer. It was a big enough auction to do that. The way the sheriff was talking this time, though, it was going to be a very small auction, and I don't think we did have anybody that would really be interested in doing that. I mean, I don't have an issue. I just was curious. Sure. Any further discussion? Call the Justice Ash? Yes. Justice Bird? Yes. Justice Clay? Yes. Justice Lehman? Yes, thank you. Okay. Justice Hinton? Yes. Justice Hempler? Yes. Justice Jackson? Yes. Justice Nelson? Yes. Justice Norville? Yes. Justice White? Yes. We just passed resolution code 2019-14. I would like to bring in some old business. Uh, I spoke with uh, the mayor of Lionel today and uh, he brought some uh, information that I'd like to pass out to you, sir. And then I'm also going to include uh, one of the first bills that we've got in for uh, the courthouse construction, and that check uh, will probably be written uh, sometime this week. Just doing that to uh, notify everyone of uh, how we're progressing with the courthouse construction and renovation. Architect, 
and uh, he was very gracious and uh, took us uh, or escorted us out to eat that night. Uh, we, we spent a lot of time in the Capitol and around Little Rock taking pictures of historic buildings and, and coming up with some ideas. And, and when we that was over, Angie and I drove down to Shea County and spoke with a uh, very dear friend of mine, Judge Richard Tindall, which is the county judge there in Arkansas City. He was, uh, he was, he is a new county judge, um, and he didn't appear in the ADTN documentary on the historic courthouses in Arkansas, but his predecessor did. And so we got to tour Arkansas City, and uh, we were very impressed with what they were doing down there. And, and he, uh, we exchanged information on uh, renovating that historic courthouse, and so we learned a great deal there. Uh, at this time, I'd like to, in our amendment to the agenda, <coughs> Wayne Reynolds forward, and uh, he is the uh, he is in the office of the emergency services and has applied for a grant. And uh, what I'd like him to do is uh, present uh, what his findings. Yes. Well, I have good news. We applied for the courtroom security grant. That comes open every year, and we we uh, were selected for it. So, actually, right over there, I have a $15,000 check for a new camera system for the OTL courthouse, which is seriously dated. However, <coughs> the quote that I have is $39,250, $39, and the check is for $15,000. So, what I'm going to be asking you all for later at the, at the finance committee is for the additional money for that. Uh, it is a going to be a huge improvement on the camera system. We're going to have seven additional cameras that are higher resolution. We'll have more memory, and so that we can keep the records longer and they can be uh, gone back and looked at easier. In addition, the uh, the Osceola Police Department and the Sheriff's Department will have remote access so that they can look at the cameras at any time, which uh, currently they can. The only place you can see what's going on with the cameras is in my office. And currently, the the DVR for our system is running uh, is a desktop computer running Windows XP, and it. Shut, it'll shut itself down about once a week and I have to reboot it. So this will be a a really nice upgrade on it. The uh, additional cameras, currently we have 16 cameras and this additional seven will help get rid of almost all of the dead spots that are in the building that currently there's no camera coverage at all. Like, uh, for instance, the main entrance into the courthouse from the from the parking lot in back, uh, there's no camera coverage at all there. Well, we're going to solve that. And, uh, well, there's a bunch of dead spots on the grounds themselves that there's no camera coverage. Well, we'll have coverage there. <clears throat> we'll have an additional camera in the courtroom itself. Well, We'll keep the one that's overlooking the judge's bench, but we'll also have one overlooking where the, uh, oh, where the audience is. So we will have much, much better coverage. We'll have, I'm wanting to put one in the uh, collector's office since they handle a lot of money there, and also one covering the uh, assessor's office since every once in a while apparently they have trouble down there. There's no camera coverage. So we'll have a record of that. I've asked Mr. Reynolds to present this information because he'll be out of town uh, during our next finance meeting. So uh, he's going to drop off the uh, material and uh, <coughs> there to be presented. But if anyone has any questions, let him know this system now while he's here. Why don't you know if. Uh, those are court automation funds. Would they qualify for the matching portion to the fifteen thousand? I do not know that. Okay, 
that's something you're going to need. Okay. Yeah. You're going to need twenty-four thousand dollars plus yes. But yes. And uh, we have more than that in that particular fund, but I think okay. that we can only use that with the justices, uh, the judge's permission. Mm -hmm. And uh, Judge Ralph Wilson is our administrative justice judge in this judicial district. So um, we, that might be where we can come up with those extra funds for the damage. You have to check into that between now and finance for us, if you don't mind. We'll just might approach Judge Wilson with it. I'll do that. Okay. Any other questions? Thank you, Mr. Reynolds. Thanks for your work on that. All right, you're welcome. Well, I also have the honor tonight to introduce to the Forum Court our new landfill director, Mr. James Roundtree. James, if you'll stand up. James has done an excellent job with the uh, landfill. It is running very smoothly. Uh, he's, he's certainly had his hands full while we're filling up our class one and we've uh, recently reopened our old class four and now we're fixing or we'll begin uh, the design phase on the construction of the new class one and the new class four. Justice Burge, do you have anything to uh, comment uh, about uh, Mr. Roundtree and the Senate office? James has just been there a while, knows everything there, keeps everything running smooth. Very impressive. The men respect him and, and he does an excellent job. James, if you'll come forward, and uh, Mary, if you'll come as well, what I'd like to do is uh, this is a